5.5 proving triangle congruence by side, side, side. So today we're gonna to learn about the side, side, side triangle congruence shortcut, but we're also gonna learn about a second one called HL, which is going to stand for hypotenuse leg. First, we're gonna start with side, side, side. So if the three sides of one triangle are congruent to three sides of a second triangle, then the two triangles are congruent recall that this symbol means congruent. So here's the corresponding sides, one tick mark with one, two with two, three with three. So these two triangles are congruent or exactly the same. Decide whether the congruent statement is true. So you're going to say either true or false. So for this first one, is DFG congruent to HJK? One to one, two to two, three to three, this is true. Uh, by side, side, side. I can see a side and a side and a side and those three sides match to the other side. Next, is ACB congruent to CAD? Well, I can see that they share a side of nine, but on this triangle, D to C is four and A to B is three even though A to D is seven and B to C is seven. So I can see that there are two side lengths that don't match. So no, this is false because AB is not equal to DC. So they are not congruent. All right, how about the third one? One for one, two for two, three for three. This is true by side, side, side. Now, normally what we have learned is that side-side angle or SSA is not a valid congruence proving method. It does not, it's not enough to show that the two triangles are congruent, but there is one angle that is an exception. So, but you can use this method when examining right triangles. So 90 degree angles are the only one that make SSA become true only if the A is a 90 degree angle. This congruence theorem is called hypotenuse leg. Or HL. And if the hypotenuse and leg of a right triangle are congruent to the hypotenuse and leg of a second triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. So here's our 90 degree angle that matches. And then I've got a hypotenuse, AD and DE are hypotenuse. And then this single tick mark is the leg. So yes, this is congruent. These two triangles are congruent by a hypotenuse leg. Something you might need to do is reorient the triangles in order to see if the hypotenuse leg is true. So it says redraw triangles ABC and DCB side by side with corresponding parts in the same position. Then prove that they are congruent using HL. So we're gonna draw, the, I like to draw them right side up facing to the right. So then we have to label each. So we wanna do ABC first. You can see that B is there at the corner of the 90 degree angle. C is kind of up at the top there, and A is over here. A to C has a tick mark, and then we're gonna do the same thing with the other triangles. So C is the one at the 90 degree angle, B is up at the top, and D is over here with a tick mark. But now we have to prove that these are congruent by hypotenuse legs. So right now I've got a H on each of them, but I need a leg. So recall that if there is a side length that is shared between the two of them, that those are the same length. So BC is congruent to BC. So that makes them congruent by a hypotenuse leg. So now we're just gonna try a whole bunch of examples of are they congruent or not? Um, all three of the next three examples are, are they congruent or not? So it's gonna be a yes or a no. And then it's gonna be either SSS or HL today. So number one, 
one for one, two for two, and a shared side. So yes, by side, side, side. One for one, two for two, and a 90 degree angle. But notice that the two for two on this one is across from the 90 degree angle. And note that on this one, that that is not the case. So be careful when you're matching your tick marks. So this is no, because it's not the hypotenuse, because the hypotenuses don't match. All right, how about number three? So one for one, 90 degree angle. So all we have left is a hypotenuse because we have that 90 degree angle. And I can see that they share a hypotenuse. So yes, by hypotenuse, leg. Next, I've got a 90 degree angle, I've got a leg, but this one does not have a 90 degree angle. So although it doesn't have a 90 degree angle, we could use the other one by making that a shared side length. So now I've got one for one, two for two, and three for three. So this is still yes, whoops, yes, but it's by side, 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 and not HL, because you're missing that 90 degree angle in that right-hand corner. Number two, these are vertical angles, so I am allowed to put a 90 degree angle in this spot. So now I've got a hypotenuse and a leg, so yes, by hypotenuse leg. Number three, one for one, two for two, three for three, and 90 degree angles. I can see that uh, this is true by both. This is true by side, 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 and HL. All right, so this one is technically asking true or false. So is ABC congruent to DEF. So it's a 90 degree angle, so I need a hypotenuse and a leg, so my hypotenuses already match. And then the leg is matching because this F to C length is a shared side and these two smaller lengths match. So this is true by hypotenuse leg. All right, I can see two matching sides for isosceles, but then they have a shared side. I can put three tick marks. I don't only, only need a two, but. So this will be yes by side, side, side. All right, this last one, not 90 degree angles. And all I have is a side and a side and a side and a side. So that's not enough. So this is no, because it's not a right triangle it would be SSA, which is not a congruence theorem. Thank you.